Hello there scientific Korean people, how are you today? So today I am going to discuss the another application of Archimedes principle that is finding the relative density of a solid and this time the solid is heavier than water. I have already uploaded a video in which I have talked about the solid which is uh, less heavier than water or lighter than water. This is pretty easy for us. So here we are given a spring balance which is attached with a solid and that solid is quite heavy. So this is the solid and this solid is now submerged, uh, will be submerged inside this water and since we are dealing with relative density, so we know that relative density of a substance of any solid is equal to density of solid. divided by density of water. Now this is our spring balance and I have attached this object, this solid which is heavier than water with the spring balance and this spring balance is giving me the reading W1. So what is W1? W1 is weight of solid in air correct now this is an empty vessel which is placed on a weighing balance digital weighing balance now suppose the volume of this solid is capital V and the density of the solid is rho s this water which is filled inside has density sigma right now this rho s is denser than sigma that's why the solid is going to submerge inside. Now I am gently lowering this apparatus down in such a way that this whole body submerges inside. So what is going to happen? The water level is going to rise and the water is going to overflow and the water is going to get collected over here. So this water is called water displaced. Okay. Now we already know that the volume of the solid will be same as the volume of the water displaced. So this water displaced will also have same volume as that of the volume of the solid. Now people let us assume the buoyant force acting in the upward direction is B and let us assume W2 is the weight which is recorded in water. So W2 would be of course less than W1 and W2 is weight of solid in water correct and we already know about one more equation that weight w2 that is equal to weight in air minus the buoyant force and now in the archimedes principle i have already discussed that the weight of Suppose W3 that is the weight of the water displaced that itself is equal to buoyant force. So instead of B which is this B can be written as W1 minus W2 but instead of B the buoyant force I can also write down W3 that is weight of the water displaced. Everything is discussed in the Archimedes principle. Now see we are doing an experiment people right. So in experiments we are supposed to plug in the values which we know. So W3 will be displayed over here, the weight of the water displaced, of course that itself is equal to the buoyant force. So what are the things that, do you, that you know? So our answer is I know what is W1, I can record it. I know what is W2, I can record it. I know what is W3 or I know what is buoyant force. So on the basis of these three values, I am supposed to find out the relative density of the solid. Correct. Okay. So now let, let's move on. So I'm going to use a formula. I'm going to use a formula for relative density people. So relative density is density of solid upon density of water, but which water? This is the water displaced. Correct people. Now 
relative density of solid that is equal to density of solid that is mass of solid upon volume of solid divided by density of water that is mass of water displaced upon volume of water displaced so this is mass upon solid mass of the solid upon volume of solid multiply by this becomes multiplication so inverse since the volume of water displaced and the volume of the solid are same so both of them they get cancelled so relative density of the solid that is equal to mass of solid upon mass of water displaced so whose mass i am talking about you know what is w that is mg so you divide this w3 by g you will get the mass of water displaced so this i can easily find it out from w3 and anyhow no need to do that i am going to multiply up and down by g so this becomes weight of solid in air upon this is mw into g that is weight of water displaced and weight of water displaced is shown over here that is w3 weight of water displaced i can also say this as a buoyant force so relative density of the solid that is equal to w1 because weight in solid in air is w1 and weight of water displaced is just now discussed that is w3 that is equal to w1 minus w2 where w1 is the weight of solid in air upon weight of uh, uh, the solid in the water so relative density of solid formula we have derived that is weight of solid in air divided by uh, weight of solid in air minus weight of solid in water so hopefully guys you have understood this explanation and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video